Hello everyone and welcome back to the Friday Night Previews. This Friday Night Racing heads back to Pakenham where we had a bit of success three weeks ago. Last week though, 0 from 8 which wasn't great with 4 placings. So hoping to bounce back off what was a disappointing Friday night last week. And hopefully at Pakenham tomorrow night we can get on a bit of a roll. Race 1 is a 3 year old main over the 1400 metres and Quickster picks herself here. This horse hasn't won a race yet, obviously because it's in a maiden, but ran 4th last start behind Skybird and Grinzinger Bell in the Phillies Classic at Group 2 level on Cox Plate Day. That's good enough for him to be winning this, it definitely has to be the one on top. Sox Nation... Uh, lost to Grinzinger Bell and Roll on High last start in a Sandown Maiden. Has had a break since then and comes back first up. We'll be storming home from the back, but I'm happy to have Quickster on top in race number one. Race 2 is an open maiden over the 1600 metres and I'm with the Marin Eustis trained Imma Dest. This horse was good from the back first up, starting a good SP at Echuca. It was actually on debut um, on the 19th of October, so I think second up now has the benefit of having that race experience for the first time. Draws to be a little bit closer, Ben Allen goes on, I think it's a good chance. Uh, highly likely in for second for Pat Carey and Harris Walker. Uh, should run well off what was a disappointing run last start at Mornington. Raven I thought was slightly unders, but can win and Colonel Ace the overs. Race three is a benchmark 64 over the 2,000 metres, and I'm pretty keen here on Think I'm Famous. This horse was good winning at Pakenham last start, uh, where it stormed home from last to win over 1,600. So the step up to 2,000 metres looks ideal. Gets a little weight uh, relief off, considering it's open uh, class this time, and not just fillies and mares. Jamie Mott goes on, draws four. We'll get a nice run every chance. Running cloud, a clear second. We'll go forward, make its luck on speed, but I'm keen on Think I'm Famous in the third. Race 4 is an open maiden over the 1,400 metres. Tycoon Lads on debut, so I can't be too confident, but the three-year-old chestnut cult by Written Tycoon uh, is trained by Basutton and Young, and usually when they bring horses on debut to pack in them over 1,400 in a maiden, they usually win, and I'm hoping it happens again here. Piercing Sky in for a clear second. This horse had a good recent trial at Ararat over 1,000 metres. Himaros and My Rockefeller over the odds, but I'm keen on Tycoon Lad. Race 5 is an open maiden over the 1,200 metres and I think extremely rowdy should be breaking its maiden here. Has run second at its only two career starts. I think it can go one better here. John McNeil retains the ride, draws three, can settle in a non-speed roll and I think up to the 1,200 looks the one to beat. Trial by press I thought was over the odds. Had to do some work from the 8 to the 4 last start at Seymour. Draws two, will get a soft run for Jamie Mott. 70 to 1 is way overs. Nanita was well beaten last start but gets Blinkers first time and Billy Egan on which I think helped. Um, and also the other pick, Alatonte for Cliff Brown, looks to be uh, representing value. But I like extremely, extremely Rowdy with those three value plays. Race 6 is a benchmark 64 over the 1,200 metres, and I'm with Morpheus Bragi here. This horse was good starting favourite behind Masterful and River Noir at sale. Before this was a good winner at Kyneton. Draws 10. Selene Gordre will roll forward with the claim, and I think it looks hard to beat. Villa 79, I think, is also over the odds. Uh, draws 4, looks for a good run. Uh, was a winner 2 back really well at Maui, so I think it's a good chance. Sabuma and Legionnaire, I think, are the... Overs and value plays, but I like Morpheus Bragi in the sixth. Race number seven is a benchmark 64 over the 1600 metres. An impending link was a good return winner. First up at Pakenham over the 1400 metres at 64 level. I think can replicate that again here. Um, I'm keen to be with it. Draws gate one. Looks for a good run. Benny Allen goes on. I think it's a really good chance. Simeon in for a clear second. Ran behind impending link last starting. Gets a little weight swing on it after starting 250 SP on that day. So it's a pretty good chance. Toro Peak and Huguenot the overs, but I'm pretty keen on impending link. Race number eight to finish the night is a benchmark 64 over the 1,400 metres, and I think this is a really smart horse, Rackerman. Uh, this horse won its maiden by two and a half lengths at Sandown last start. That was last campaign, so it is first up. Jai McNeil, 60 kilos, draws four, will be right there on speed, and it's a great chance. Tapper Cabal um, has been racing against dashing lethal thoughts and first immortal in the city, so it's got to be considered. Out of Compton will be flying from the back, and also Korobaniki likes Pakenham. Um, but I'm keen to be with Rackerman in the last. That's going to do it for this Friday night preview. Hopefully I've tipped you into a few winners and hopefully we can make some profit.